It's Friday. It's time for movie news with the Lou. Let's talk about no so fun and games. Let me okay, knock you out. You get to it. I'm just going to be quiet. Okay. All Let right. me knock out what's brand new at the box today. It's a little bit weak of uh, a weekend, but when you finish saving the world, is out. A mom and her oblivious son seek out replacements for each other. So this is written and directed by Jesse Eisenberg, who is quite, you know, he has a dry sense of humor and quite hilarious. And um, it also stars Julianne Moore. She's no slouch. And then I got to tell you, new on Blu-ray and some streaming platforms, Till. And that is the table I sat at at the Critics' Choice Awards. This is a very underrated film starring, like I said, uh, my table mate, Danielle Deadweiler and Jalen Hall. And it's the important story of Emmett Till. So you, I highly recommend it. It is very intense, and it is uh, not a feel-good movie. But the performances are wonderful. So, OK. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about our Critics' Choice things. Because okay. we haven't gotten to talk about it together. No, because I left on Monday, you left on Tuesday. We've been busy at work. We hadn't yeah. had any time to converse. Well, yeah. So let's no converse. Like the present. Yeah. And there's some pictures, maybe? Oh, yes. Are we going to take this full screen or behind us, Jake? Okay. I don't even know what this. Okay, we'll do monitor. Okay. Okay, here you go. Talk to him, Chris. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a video first. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, the, Julia Roberts walking past me for the third what? award show. And then you'll see she has, you know, a handler in front of her. I couldn't get it to her. Uh, uh, Adam Scott, Scott and yes. Ben Stiller. This is the pre cocktail party. Oh. And just who we hang with. This is me walking to my table. Claire Foy. And I loved her. She was so nice. Yeah, she's so, so lovely. So I'm walking to my table. There's my Till people and Ben Stiller's table right next to me. And all of the people in the press room from the Better Call Saul. Brendan Fraser, I went to a reception. He looks great. On Friday night uh, with the screening and a reception with him. And he was fabulous, as oh. your encounter was Mine fabulous. Mine was also fabulous. He started and ended oh. that party like a champ. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He's I amazing. love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. J. Cool. That's how yeah. I've, I turned her. Chris J. Cool. Dater. I'm three for three. You know how I say I always have that one person I yep. got to get. Mm -hmm. the Jennifer Coolidge is my number one. This, yep. Thanks to you, I got her. So yeah, it was great. And she was super lovely and super fun. Love her. Ben Stiller, because everybody at my table kept hitting his chair. Oh I said, hey. We should take a uh, selfie since I'm hitting awesome. your chair every time we get in <laughs> and out. Love ben. It's very packed yeah. in there. Uh. The tables are tight. Oh yes, <gasps> that is Mr. What? Austin Butler. You got oh, Austin? Himself. Look at him holding my oh hand my for dear gosh. life, like he's in love. Uh huh. Look, see? I see it. Oh my word. Oh, I see oh, it. Yeah. Word. See right it. There. See it. Oh my god. And he couldn't have been more lovely. That is so great. Oh, that's good. Did he talk like Elvis to you? A little bit. Okay. And then the Fonz. The, the Fonz lit oh. up my life. He was everything. Me too. He was everything you want him to be. Yes. He's so loud. And it's very loud in there. Weird Al. Didn't you find? <laughs> He was just great. He was so. Um, he was so great. Yeah. His uh, his movie won, and he was just utterly delightful. And I had great. I was doing audio there, is what I'm doing, and uh, we had great audio for uh, 98.7 The Dove. So that was really fun. Oh, I love it. Oh, Claire, Claire Foy, she was so nice. She was our uh, Sandra O oh this year. If you yeah. like, she had all sorts of time to talk to me, mm -hmm. hang out. That was at the cocktail reception before. And um, she couldn't have been greater. And Women Talking, uh, which is her movie, is coming to town. Oh, good. Oh, fun. And that is Zoe Kazan. She is in my number one most underrated movie of the year, which is She Said, sort of about the two reporters who uncovered all of the Weinstein scandal. Yeah. And oh. she is excellent. And if you haven't seen The Big Sick with Kumail Nanjiani, she was in that. And oh. it was really good. So little known, she's married to Paul. Uh, Dano, who is in the Fablements, so she Look wasn't even there for anything because yeah. she said didn't get nominated, even oh, though no. I did. There's oh, my there's till table. table. Uh, Daniel Deadweiler, beautiful dress. Jalen Hall, and then his mom, Ooh. who is absolutely <laughs> delightful and hilarious. <laughs> like we're out. And we, we laughed all night, all That's night so long. That's so great. And there she is again. Look at that dress. The dress is oh. gorgeous. She is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And to know that she took on such a, a big and tough role. Yeah. And I had not heard of her before this movie. So that's very exciting. Is that? Oh, 
And then, oh. Oh, yeah, from I the had bear. to do this. Uh, Jeremy Allen White and Ayo Ediberry. Good for you. Name. They are so great in The Bear, which is on Hulu, eight episodes. And of course, I've loved him since he was Philip Lip in Shameless. And I was basically turning tables to get over to him. I'm just quickly about The Bear. I wish I could tell, I'm not going to tell any stories that were privately told to me, but I had a conversation with Judy Greer of yes. Reboot and Paul Reiser yes. of Reboot. Oh. About the bear. Well, and I will not go into what they said, but I had a good, well, lengthy conversation with each will, one of them about I'll the bear. I'll say a little bit of it. I I was shocked that your TV people put it in a comedy category because it's more dramatic. Well, here's the thing, Chris. But, guess what? We didn't. The studio oh, did. Oh, okay. So I was emailing about that, going, um, should the bear be in comedy? Because I was on the comedy committee, and they're like, we have to go off what the studio submits them under. Gotcha. Mm. So yes, I mean, that was that. There was funny elements, but it's not uproariously hilarious. It's much more dramatic. Oh, much and more. And why it's happening, why the bear is yes. happening is dramatic. And by the way, it finally does pay off in the last episode. Yes. That's the whole thing is I was kind of hate watching it at first because I'm just like, I don't understand what's happening, mm -hmm. but it does pay off on the final episode. Oh, it's all about the final episode. Final episode, episode yeah. I absolutely loved it. Is that the last one? Oh, we have, oh there's a... Um, oh, Ray from... Seahorn, she is Kim Wexler in Better Call Saul, and I cannot tell you how sweet she was. She's one of those ones that go, hi, I'm Ray. Yeah. And um, I told her, thanks for the magic because Better Call Saul and all of that, I just, I was obsessed. Amazing. With all of it. And then, uh, oh, oh, we had look to, at these look people. At that. Because, you know why we took that. Tell them why we took that photo. Because Elle, Elle Fanning, Fanning is always behind us. She was behind She's us everywhere last year and this year. So she yeah. is our stalker. So she, Chris, like, should we take a photo? I'm like, of course, because Elle's there. Of yeah. course. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Elle Fanning is stalking it was, us. It was a great time. Yeah, awesome. Lots of interactions and already looking forward to next year. Oh my gosh. I, uh, it's, oh, good times. And, and we're out of time, so we got to everything perfectly. Yeah, Chris. perfect. Oh, gosh, okay. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with Travis Burke's a price cutter right after this. It's a whirlwind. I didn't even get to all I my know. photos because that's so many stories. Right, I have.